we've mentioned what the faders can do, the motorized faders. We've mentioned what the transport section can do. So you've got a lot of automation capability and control of your DAWs, but there's actually a third layer that we can access. And that takes advantage of the digitally controlled trim pots that we have on the console. When I press pan and I activate the, the V pots up at the top, now the V pots that we used earlier to control the OPX gains, these are now assigned to Logic or Pro Tools pans. So I have 24 faders, I have 24 V-pots, and I can control multiple parameters from each channel strip. And I guess AUX send works the same way, but that's for DAW sends? It is. So if I then press AUX send, now the, the V-pots have flipped over to control the DAW sends. So I can adjust levels of any number of sends using, uh, using the V-pots. And of course, if you have multiple sends on a channel, I can uh, navigate to send one, send two, send three, using a short button combination. So I have a lot of control over any signal routing inside the DAW using the V-pots.